Hello, my friend, and welcome to another drawing segment with the Rouser. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a picture of LeBron James. So I'm going to start out here by doing an overall shape of the head. I'm going to be using my sketchbook app. It's pretty much it's a really excellent drawing app. You can download the sketchbook app and it's absolutely free. And what I do is I, I kind of want to get the idea of what true shape I'm drawing. And then I can exaggerate this shape in any way that I want. Once I get to the shoulders, I do also change the proportion of that. Therefore, the head's going to look uh, bigger than the body. And thus, that is where I get my term. I use a lot big heads and little bodies. And that's pretty much what a caricature is. It's a person with a bigger head than their body is. <laughs> Okay, so from here, now we can see our overall head shape. So we're going to take our Crayola marker and we're going to go ahead and start to mimic uh, this head shape. As a quick note, you don't have to be perfect on this head shape. All you have to do is get somewhere in the ballpark of the line work that you traced around the head shape. So feel free to kind of uh, add a little bit of spice to it so that doesn't look like you just trace the picture and put it on the other side but if you're struggling with you know the creative process as far as that's concerned it's okay for you to just use the one that's on there but i wouldn't recommend you do it that way i let i recommend you just go ahead and let your hand kind of run free and uh, do a loose interpretation of the overall head shape so now that we're just about done with the head shape i'm pretty pleased with that we can go ahead and we will start to draw the inner features of the face okay again i use the same technique but the one thing that is noteworthy i think to mention here is that when you have the head shape right then the features kind of go together almost but when your head shape is wrong then your whole caricature is thrown off because the spacing around the features is not correct so uh, that's another uh, advantage to going ahead and tracing the outside of the picture and getting that true shape down before you start so we're going to draw our nose shape here and the bridge of the nose LeBron does have kind of a wide nose, so I want to make sure that I get those uh, proportions correct there. Now I'm going to draw the space between the nose and we'll draw our lip shape. Usually I'll start with the middle part of the lip first and then I'll work my way outwards. This way the, the mouth will stay kind of balanced. So I'm starting to see a pretty good resemblance. Okay, so now I'm going to establish the brow line. LeBron does have a very powerful brow line, so I'm going to make sure that I establish that. From there, I'm going to just go ahead and start to add in the eyebrow shape or fill in my eyebrow shapes with the darks. And then I'm going to add some shoulders here He has some basketball shoulders, so we're going to kind of plump them up a little bit. <laughs> and from there, we're just going to go ahead and darken in the eyes. And then we'll add just a few finishing lines. So here we're just uh, doing our shading. Pretty much I use the shading to uh, add dimension to my face without having to draw extra lines and to also tone down some of the line work that I've already used within the face. So use this very sparingly to do it. You only need a gray marker. By the way, this is all done in Crayola. Uh, so you can just get the gray and black Crayola out of your Crayola pack and you can, you can use that. In order to keep this video short, I'm going to explain to you about the where's and why's I'm putting the shadows in these different places. But I will give you a precursor to remember to practice your basic shapes. 
specifically how to draw them in 3D form so that you'll know how light acts upon those features. And now we're going to begin to darken in the hair. So we're going to use that same Crayola and I'm going to do it in layers. If you'll notice here, I'm putting my first layer down pretty light and then I'll come back with a second layer. And this keeps my hair from going black too quickly. You know what I mean? But now if you are not as proficient with the Crayola yet because you haven't been really using it a lot, I recommend you use a crayon because crayons color and gradients a lot easier than a marker. So that's just a little tip for me to you. And we're going to use that same kind of technique here uh, with the beard shape. So the beard shape, I'm not going to kind I'm not going to color it in from light to dark. I'm just going to kind of go for it, but I'm going to leave a little bit of lighting at the very end of my mustache or my beard here because it just makes it look more cool. You know what I mean? Versus again, just coloring the whole thing in black. It leaves a little bit more uh, dimension uh, in your drawing. So now I'm just adding a few little details around the beard shape here. And just doing some finishing touches. I'm pretty much pleased with the way the drawing has come out. I feel like if anybody looked at this, they would say, oh, you're trying to draw LeBron James. And though he may look weird, <laughs> it still resembles him. So that's the main thing. So really, as a, a kind of quick review, remember to go ahead and do the overall head shape first, just kind of uh, trace it out then come back with start with that head shape. From there, your features will fit in quite uh, nicely. You'll be surprised how it just kind of goes together. Once you do that, then you can um, go ahead and start putting your, your shadows in. This will give your drawing a little bit more dimension and depth. If you're using a color pencil or something like that, just use a darker color value of the pencil you're using and then it should come out just fine. So we're going to just finish up here by putting the name on. I want to thank you for watching uh, this video tutorial. I'll be making more videos and tutorials soon. If you uh, like, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, guys, don't forget to uh, check out our live stream where we live stream twice a week and show you uh, kind of how to draw caricatures. So it's kind of like getting a, a free art class online. And that's on every uh, Tuesday morning and also on every Saturday morning. You can look in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Hello there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, you did? Well then, you see that subscribe button below? Push it. And after, push the bell icon next to it and select the all, all, all option. Then you will get notifications of all new uploaded videos. And when I go live, oh yeah. So thanks for watching and subscribing and check out these other videos for more cool stuff. Have a great day and happy penciling.